out, make sure you have a pencil and a piece of paper, okay? Because we're going to have some new spelling words this week. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to read this story to you. I would like for you to follow along with me if you could. And I'm going to ask you some questions about it, okay? It's called Christmas Cookies. Claire was busy in the kitchen baking cookies. She was sure her display was going to win the contest at the cookie exchange. Bakers of all ages brought their best cookies to share. Claire loved to try all the cookies, but her favorite part of the night was the Christmas display contest. Her dad helped her build a large wood barn to hold her mom's hand-carved set of Joseph, Mary, baby Jesus, and the shepherds. There were animals, too. It was a special gift from her grandpa. She just loved it. Claire barely finished frosting her cookies before it was time to leave. She put them in thin boxes and stacked them up. Once they got to the church, Claire's mom helped her set up the scene. She put plates of cookies on each side of the manger. Her cookies were in the shapes of the Christmas star, animals, and people. She used sprinkles and many colors of frosting to make them pretty. Her mom had a surprise for Claire, a strand of pretty white lights to hang on the barn. It was perfect. Claire waited all night for the contest to start. She usually loved to play games, but she just got, could not get her mind off all the pretty displays. She hoped hers was good enough to win. Soon it was time to vote. The third place winner was Claire. She had hoped to win first place, but all sadness left when she saw the third place prize, a giant bag of candy. So what was this story about? It was about Claire making her cookies and putting up her display in the contest. What was Claire's mind on during the games? Remember what it said here? It said she waited all night for the contest. She usually loved to play games, but she just couldn't get her mind off all the pretty displays. So her mind was on all the things that she could see around her in the contest. Why wasn't Claire sad that she didn't win first place? Because she got a bag of candy, and that made her happy. All right, good deal. Let's look at our next page here. All right, we're going to learn a new sound this week. It's the oi sound. Oi sounds that they can be spelled with o y or o i. Some words that make this sound are oil and joy. Can you think of some other words that have the oi sound and say them out loud? Oi. You are a boy. That's right. How about um, when you put water on the stove and you turn it on high? What does it start to do? Boil. That's right. Those are some words that start with that are not that start with it, but have the sound oi in there. Look at that. What are those? Polar bears, aren't they? A mama and her baby, maybe. Read what this says, the instructions. Read it out loud. Can you do that? Did you circle this one? Because if you did, that means you got it right. Because it said, circle the sentence that best tells what the picture is about. And this says the two bears are angry, but they don't look angry. Two bears are bored. They don't really look bored. Or the bears are hungry. It doesn't look like they're hungry. How about the bears love each other? That's what that sentence talks about. That's exactly right. All right. Make sure it's always very important that you always read the instructions. That's how come I had you read the instructions and then do it without me having to tell you. Because it's very important that you know how to follow instructions that you read. Alright, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and put our spelling words for the week on the board. Okay, it's going to be these right here, lesson 14. Let me see if I can make them bigger. Get these right.
right here. Don't write these. These are not. Okay, just these. Boy, toy, royal, enjoy, oil, boil, and noise. All right, I'd like for you to pause this while you write your words down. And when you're finished writing them down, you'll be done. So I'd like for you to practice your spelling. I'm going to send you a link to practice your words. And then I want you to do your independent reading after you do that, okay? That's all for today.